What programming language should you learn first as a complete beginner if you are just starting out? I get this question all the time and my goal is that by the end of this video, you can confidently choose what programming language to start learning so that you can get a job. There is a lot of information out there and it can be confusing for someone starting their career as a web developer or someone who is thinking about becoming a programmer. In short, I'm gonna say learn JavaScript or Python first if you are new to programming. Both Python and JavaScript are relatively easy to learn and widely used in the job market. This means there will be a lot of opportunities when it comes time for you to find a job and you will have a higher chance of actually sticking with learning the language. JavaScript was the first programming language I learned after learning HTML and CSS, of course, which aren't actually programming languages. HTML is just simply a markup language and CSS is just a style sheet language. But all modern websites use JavaScript. It's an extremely powerful language that runs in web browsers. And with the addition of Node.js, we can also run JavaScript on the server side as well. This means JavaScript can be used as a full stack language and is extremely versatile. And if you learn JavaScript, you can become quite valuable to potential employers. Also worth noting, JavaScript is pretty simple to start learning and to start writing actual code. You can literally pop open your web browser console and start writing JavaScript to manipulate the data on the screen. Python, on the other hand, is extremely powerful as well and considered easy to learn when compared to other programming languages. Python is excellent for developing websites, software, task automation, data analysis, and data visualization. And Python's often referred to as one of the easier syntax to learn and most comparable to the English language. And if your whole goal is to get a job as soon as possible, then this could be a good reason to choose Python, just due to the fact that it's said to be one of the easier languages to learn. And if you can get really good at solving coding challenges, you know, that employers give you, you could drastically reduce the amount of time it takes you to actually find a job. Assuming that you've built out a few interesting projects in that said language, of course. If coding challenges are new to you, I do have a link down in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so I do receive a small commission. It's a link to Edabit. It's probably the best place that I found to learn how to solve these coding questions at a basic level. But if your whole end goal is to build web applications, then I would say learn JavaScript first because this will be a necessity. JavaScript is how we add functionality to our web applications and is used on virtually every website. Of course, I'm biased to web development and the languages that I choose to learn. All the programming I do on a day-to-day -day basis is based around web development, whether it be the front end or the back end. Now, if you wanna write applications that run on operating systems or maybe game design, then JavaScript and Python might not be your best bet, unless you wanna recreate the game Snake. For game design, I'd recommend diving into C++ or C Sharp. I personally haven't written much code in those languages, but I do know they are widely used in game development, especially when using a gaming engine such as Unreal or Unity. At the end of the day, where you work and the projects you are working on will play a major part on the code you write on a daily basis. And for that reason, it can be tough to give exact advice on what programming language to learn first. There's so much more that goes into it and it really depends on what you want to do, what you want to build, and where you want to work, and the type of projects you want to work on. The goal of this video is to give you a basic understanding and a general idea of the direction in which programming language to learn first, especially if you're leaning towards web development. Being that I have a career in web development, I'm gonna recommend learning JavaScript first at least the fundamentals. As we just talked about, JavaScript is used basically on all websites. So even if you decide you want to work on the back end, chances are you're still gonna be running into some JavaScript code. You may even be working with Node.js, which is JavaScript that runs on the server. Now, if you wanna focus on Python and you know becoming a back end developer, then you don't necessarily have to take a deep dive into some of the JavaScript libraries such as React or Angular or Vue, but it would be beneficial to at least have a decent understanding of how these libraries work, such as React. Now, if you wanna work on the front end, for example, then JavaScript is going to be your best friend. There are tons of great JavaScript tutorials and websites out there with lots of documentation. And if you run into to a problem with JavaScript or Python 2 for that matter, there's a 99.999% chance that 
somebody else has ran into that exact same problem and they've made a post about it on Stack Overflow. Now, learning JavaScript may be enough to get your foot in the door somewhere, but many employers like to see that you're proficient in some sort of JavaScript library. Which library will depend on the company and the tech stack that they use? Usually React, Angular, or Vue are some of the more popular ones. Most of what I do is inside of React, which is probably the most popular JavaScript library right now. But I will say that I do see a lot of Angular dev positions out there if you do like a quick search on Indeed or any of the job boards. So that's just something worth noting. Now, with all that being said, at the end of the day, what you work on, you know, the tech stack you work on is gonna depend on the employer and the project you're actually working on. So keep that in mind. That's all I have for you today, guys. Smash the like button, leave me a comment, share the video. I love interacting with you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.